Welcome back to the Physio Bros. Today I'm going to be teaching you another need to know taping technique for patellofemoral knee pain. This is pain that's deep within your knee that feels like it's underneath your kneecap or even below your kneecap. This taping technique will help you relieve pain which will hopefully get you back to your normal activities as soon as possible. So if we look into this joint further, patella femoral, patella means your kneecap and femoral means your femur which is the bone in your upper leg. Why this is really important is your patellofemoral joint is the articulating surface between these two structures. So when we're looking at this joint, we're actually looking at the positioning of your kneecap in relation to your femur, and we want to be positioning with taping your kneecap into a position where you're in a lot less pain. Alrighty guys, so starting off, the first thing you need to know is where all four edges of your kneecap are. So you want to feel, the best way to do this is to sit with your legs straight, your knees straight in a relaxed position so you can move your kneecap. If you're locked on your muscles, your knee's not going to move. If it's slightly bent, it's also not going to move. So just have it relaxed in that position. And this is really important for when you apply your tape so that your kneecap can be moved as you apply the tape. So you're going to feel for the bottom of the kneecap, the top edge of the kneecap, and both sides of the kneecap. It's really important that we don't compress the bottom edge of the kneecap because underneath you've got your fat pad and you've got a lot of nerve fibers and that's what a lot of the reason is behind your pain is that compression in that area or that irritation in that area. So we want to apply our tape more towards the top half of the kneecap because then we can tilt the kneecap up and lift it up off that compressed area. So if we think of our first strip so the first strip, we want to start in the middle of our kneecap. As I said, we want to bring it a little bit up from the bottom and we're going from the directly the middle and we're going to wrap it around to our hamstrings, tendons at the back. So rip off your tape. So right in the middle, make checking that it's not over the bottom. So I've got that gap there. And then you make sure it's on nice and tight and then bunch up your skin so it wraps around. So I've just applied a tilt on the patella that lifts up this outside edge. The next bit of tape is going to go all the way from the side on the outside of your kneecap around to the same position. So we'll get that on. Again, make sure it's tight. You can just go directly over the same bit of tape. We're going to bunch up the inside of our leg, bunch up that skin. And you can see here that I'm starting to get these pudgy bits. That's exactly what we're after because that means we're offloading that side. So as we applied that tension pushing the kneecap inwards, what that's then going to do is going to offload again the bottom of the knee perfectly. So we're bringing our patella into that natural groove in the femur, which is the bone right here, and this is really important to offload the pain. The next strip we're going to do is going to be from your like your shin bone here, like that bumpy bit, and you're going to apply it from there around and connect it up to that tape that we've got on the outside. So we'll apply that in, and this is for the to offload the fat pad. So we put that down, make sure it's sticking, and here we want to, again, make that pudgy look. We want to bunch it up, put the tension on, and then wrap that round. And you can see that I'm getting this nice pudgy bit in here, which is excellent. We're going to do that once more now, but for the other side. So you can just apply it over the top. You want to make sure that there's enough room in here still for your knee to be able to bend because if you're taping in all directions over the joint, it's just going to either fall off or it's going to restrict your knee movement too much. So again, we're going to pudge up that inner, in that triangle and wrap that around and take it. So you can see I've wrapped it all around and applied it to that hamstrings tendon on the inside of my leg. Now you want to leave the tape for five minutes to make sure it sets and sticks properly because otherwise it's just gonna fall right off. So if you have knee pain when you're going up or downstairs or up and down hills, this is a really clear indication that you'll probably benefit from this taping. And how do you know that you've actually applied it correctly is likely that you're just gonna have that decrease in pain. So it's really important to use this taping strategy as a bridge to active therapy. Now we know this is a passive technique, but it's essential that you use this to get to pain-free activity and then that's going to allow you to do strengthening exercises and general activity that will get your tendons used to loading again. Just lastly, if this is your first time taping, make sure you take it off after one to two days and check the skin underneath that you haven't caused any irritation at all. If you're used to taping, feel free to keep this on, usually for up to 72 hours. 
Thanks heaps for tuning in. Smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. We're going to have plenty more videos for tips and tricks on knee pain and other sorts of pain around the body. So make sure you stick around.